Hello guys, till now we have loaded data from the list which contains only data for 15 or 20 records only but in real life scenario it's a different. We might have a thousand or even million of data so we cannot hardcode it in our program just like the previous sessions. Alternatively we can store it in the text file which can be either CSV or the TSV. Let's switch to Visual Studio. I have already created a folder for session 16 and added two dataset files which contains the same data as a previous session. One is CSV, so year and salary are separated by the comma and another is TSV, so those fields were separated by the tabs. Also updated a value for the copy to output folder property to the newer version. Let's create a new class named demo. Add a new method public static void execute. Create instance of the ML context. To load data from the text file, we need to use the context.data.load from text file. In the path parameter, we need to specify the path for the text file. It will be under session 16 and specify the name of CSV file. Our file has a header on the first line. So, pass a true for the has header parameter. Because this is CSV file, so separator will be comma. Default separator for this method is a tab. Along with this, we need to pass the column details that we expected to load. Create an array of the text loader column. And create a column. The first parameter is the name of the column, that is years of experience. Next is the data kind for that column. It's a float, so we need to use the single. And this column is stored on the index 0. Similarly, create another column for the salary. It will be also single and store on the index 1. Update the column parameter value here. Now we have the data view for this data. To view the content of the data, we need to use the preview method. Note that we do not need to use this method in the production because this method is just for the development purpose only. Put the debugger at the end of method, open the program.cs file, execute the demo of the session 16, save all the files and run the project. Here debugger breaks. Open the preview in the quick watch. Data view includes the year two column having 24 rows. Expand the year column view. It contains the year column detail as well as the year data for that column. Here you can see that column name, type, and index. This value node contains the value for that column. Similarly, row column contains the value for the each row in the key value pair. Preview is a very handy method that allows us to preview the data of the IData view. By default, it gives the 100 records, but we can use the max rows parameter to specify the more value. Here we have used the list of column and specify the details about the column name, type, and index. But we can also use the model for this. Let me create a new class name input model. Again, it has a two property that is a flow tiers of experience and a float salary. 
to specify the index order to load, we need to use the load column attribute. In the case of the years of experience, it will be 0. And for salary, it will be 1. Let me comment those two lines. This time we will use the generic method of the allowed from text file. And we want to load the data based on the input model. Let me copy other parameter from the above. Save all the files and run the project. This time if we check it in the Epic Watch, then we will get the same data. In both example, we have used the CSV file only. But ML.NET SDK also provides support for the DSV files. So let me copy those line and paste it here. Comment this for now. Here we are going to load the data from the TSV file and I am deleting the separator character parameter as the default value for that parameter is a tab and in the TSV file we do not have the header so pass the FOLS here save all the file and run the project Again, if we check the value in the preview, it will be same. Let's see what we have learned in this session. To load data from the text file, we need to use the load from text method of the data operational catalog. In the first example, we have provided the column detail explicitly. This is useful when we do not have any model. Here data kind and index is a very important parameter because it maps the column based on the index. And if the type does not match, then it will set the default value. In the second example, we have used the model that specify the column details. In the third example, we have load the data from the TSV. So we do not need to pass the separator character parameter. Here is a model that we have used to load data. It will automatically take the name for column based on the name of the property or the value specified in the column name attribute. And to specify the index, we need to use the load column attribute. Stay tuned for the next session.